Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I am Audrey and this is Sacred Libra where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If this reading resonates with you, be mindful that the readings are general so they may not resonate with everyone. If this reading does not resonate with you, then check your other placements. Okay. What messages do we have for Libra? Clear messages for Libra, please. Protect this space. Let's see. The power of community and straddling worlds. Hmm. You got gathering around and straddling worlds, wandering between realms. Then the perfect storm and heart home compassion. The courage to step into life. Something is calling you to connect with a group. And I feel like in order to fully connect with this group, you have to leave something or someone in the past. I also feel like you can be surrounded by spirit guides right now, like fully surrounded, connecting deeper with your spirit guides. But some people are going to get, some of you guys get, could be getting like, could be joining some type of group. moving somewhere else but this has something to do with you connecting with someone else and leaving behind like you're in the middle now holding on to two things and now you're about to choose a certain group a certain community this could this could also just be a community a certain area a certain neighborhood you're about to choose to be around something new you have the um, perfect storm. Also, heart home behind these two. Vanishing mirror. And getting back to integrity. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys definitely could be finally stepping up for yourself. Finally standing up. Finally standing up for yourself, finally stepping into your life. Also, finally allowing the community to move you and to, and to connect you and attract certain things to you. And not trying to justify or trying to dismiss anything, but just letting it be. I also feel a lot of you guys have a lot of compassion. You could be filled with a lot of love. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you guys have went within. So you may have kind of secluded yourself from the outside world i feel like heart home is a very personal card or you can be around like um loved ones i feel like closed off from the outside world and either focusing on self-love or focusing on loving yourself and the people around you the people that are close to you you also have vanishing mirror here I also feel like this has a lot to do with you showing compassion to your true self. Like you getting to know your true self. A lot of you guys, this is um, self-love. And with the fool's embrace, transmuting pain, and then reconciliation. Some of you guys could have been through a lot with your past. I feel like this is like a connection between... where you are the 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 person you was where you are now in your higher self I feel like some of you guys are getting rid of your ego and some of this ego came from a lot of pain some of you guys it could have came from broken family A broken family could have came from some type of death or some type of grieving. I 
feel like some of you guys finally make peace with it. And most of all, I feel like some of you guys realize that it's... That you are not to blame. Not even that, that nobody was even left... Nobody was left to blame in the situation. On this other hand... You have the fates, netcaster, and lost compass. Getting back to yourself. I feel like this has everything to do with you just snatching a mask off and getting back to your true self and understanding that... Understanding that you're not a victim in life. Beginners win. Some of you guys have got a brand new start. A brand new start. Eyes have been opened. Balance and act. Dances on one foot. Some of you guys have finally, finally got like, some of you guys could be going through an um, a epiphany right now. Um, but finally, you guys, some of you guys have finally found some type of balance in your life. I feel like this has a lot to do with you letting the old you go and blossoming into the new. And you blossoming into the new is going to bring you to some type of new community surrounded by new different people. This has a lot to do with banishing your ego. Whatever, um, whatever mask you created to cover your hurt, that needs to come off. I didn't even... Let's get into these cards. That wasn't even just... That was just the beginning. If that resonated with you, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Let's see what we have for you guys. First breath, starting new, starting over. A beginner's mind. Connectivity. You're not worrying about... You're not worrying about the place. You're not worrying about a, a, a particular place. You're worrying about how you feel through life. You're not worrying about um, certain awards and levels of success. You're worrying about how, how, you, how are you feeling through life. Are you happy? Are you giving your all to a certain situation? Are you loving yourself with, with no conditions? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? You have the watchers, transpersonal. It's time for you to step back from something. Something caused you to step back and watch. Something was chaotic. There were arguments here. There was a lot of disagreements. Could have been some competition, petty drama. Um, your ideas were challenged. And all of that was happening. All of that confusion and disruption was happening to you so you can step back. To get a, uh, um, to get a bigger view. I was about to say grander view. To get a better view of what's going on and what does it all mean. What does it all mean that is showing up in your life? You got heart home again. Can you look at these things that happen to you with compassion? Do you do you have to go and on in life with being what has happened to you or could you truly be made over some of you guys are going through a rebirth rising above the fray you are stepping way back from the crowd Some of you guys don't care to be right anymore. Some of you guys, your peace is everything. For some of you guys, the things that um, used to matter to you so much just don't matter. You could be very focused right now.
It's very focused. Rising above the fray. An eagle's eye. A bird's eye view. The eagle, the, e the eyes of the eagle. The watchers. Somebody also could be watching you. You have a lot of watching going on. Somebody also can be watching you, but I feel like you you definitely are, are um, not only watching those around you, but you're definitely focused on the present of what's going on in the now. The herald of change. You've changed. I said in the uh, previous, and this is the right use of power. You about to use your power in the right way. Libra, I don't I don't I don't think you know what this means. We talked about how fast Libras are in action. Remember, Libra is light. Light is the fastest moving thing that we know. Light. Okay. Once a Libra has their mind made up, nothing, no one Nothing can stand in a Libra's way. You got the horseman. This is change. This is fast change. I feel like a lot of you guys are stepping back. You're looking at things totally different with a deeper perspective. You're getting your guides totally from the intuitive, totally from the divine, totally from the universe. You're not afraid anymore. You're not afraid of your highest potential anymore. You being afraid of all that you can become, those days are over. It's not about a certain stature to you. It's not, a, it's not about a, a, um, an amount of money. It's about how you feel now. It's about creating a feeling. Because you understand what you feel is real. Some of you guys are tired of, of looking around and having jewels and looking around and having labels and feeling empty inside. You're about to start over with something. It could be with love, with the career. You're about to start over with life, with your idea, how you look at life, how you look at people in life, how you look at family, how you love. Something is about to start over. You're about to take your first breath. You're about to begin something with a beginner's mind. This means no hurt. You're about to begin something with a clean slate. Something, some, There's something you've totally forgiven. And you have a clean slate. You're about to step in this thing brand new. Made over. Let's get into the tarot. If that resonated with you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. I do. What messages do we have for Libra? messages do we have for Libra? Okay, messages. You got the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys could be starting over in love. Mm. Okay. Got the Eight of Swords with the Temperance, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Swords. Energy. Hmm. I feel like some of you guys could be getting heavily judged by an Aquarius. Some that could be some that just popped out. Some of you guys could be being heavily judged by an Aquarius or just um, other people. They have these heavy judgments about the way you choose to balance and heal and the way you choose to recharge. 
even the way you choose to forgive, the way you choose to love, the way you choose to heal yourself. Other people people have things to say. I feel like um, whatever ways you choose to heal yourself, don't, people may not understand. They may think it's weird. Keep them to yourself. Like, you know, fasting is a um, way of healing. And some people, a lot of people don't agree with it at all. So, like, if you're fasting or something, keep it to yourself. Make sure you tell, like, you know, somebody. but And make sure you do the right things. Here you are. Here you are. So, here you are. You can know the truth. Hmm. Got the six of... So, I'll put them actually into it. Yeah, there was somebody here. There was a manipulator here that you were dealing with. Got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands and the Hierophant here. With the Star card. Okay. Some of you guys are letting go your feelings for someone. Some of you guys could also be moving away from a cancer. Some of you guys could also um, stop trying to look look for the beauty in a person and accept them the way they they are. And you accepting them the way they are is your justice. This is your light, your clarity. You're not um, trying to look for the light and the sensitivity and the beauty in something. You're you're look you're viewing something as is. Because you know Libras have a tendency to see the light. I mean, yeah, to see the light and see the um. The goodness and everything. And most times that clouds our vision. That's probably why we're always in our heads. But most times that clouds our vision. Now you're, you're, you're not trying to see the light in something. You're not trying to look for the good or look for the beauty. You're, looking, you're, you're judging something just as it is. Basically, you're not going in your emotions. You're judging a situation or a person just as the facts lay out for you. Okay? For some of you guys, this is a person close to you. For some of you guys, you're, you're, um, you guys have, have a choice to make. There's a big choice to make. And in making this choice, you guys are accepting the way that things made you feel. The way somebody had you confused. The way somebody had you in, 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 um, stuck in your head. The way somebody was manipulating you and it felt like, you know... Somebody was manipulating you and somebody had some type of negative energy. You're, you're bringing all the facts. This is not just you looking at somebody's pure heart in the situation. Some of you guys have a choice to make about somebody. Um, there's judgment. The justice card came up. You are about to judge something. You're weighing out, you're looking at things as it is, okay? You're realizing the confusion, or a person could be night and day, or, you know, a person could have, like, they could be one way and then totally a whole other side, or there's a, um, hidden secrets with this person. Hidden things that come to light. Like, you know, if you if you ever argue with a person and once you argue with them, that, that certain thing comes out. And then they try to apologize. You're, 
You're taking that into consideration as well. You're also taking um this person could have could have inflicted some inner su suffering, some anxiety and some depression in you. You're taking that into consideration as well. Okay? Um and you're also taking in consideration this person's toxic toxic ways. And also, this person could also be codependent. This person could also be a manipulator. This person could always be lying to you, okay? You're, you're taking all of that in. Um, if this is a relationship that you can... Um, some of you guys could have could be dealing with a person who just want you sexually. You're taking that into consideration as well, okay? Libra the Judge. You're about to make a wise choice. <laughs> I feel like this has everything to do with the people. Like some of you guys, like in the beginning with the Oracle, you guys were leaving some type of group and going to a new group. Or you guys were leaving one way of life and going into a new community. Okay? You have the Queen of Pentacles, but you're embracing the Queen of Stability. Okay? The Queen of being the pre present. The Queen of enjoying the present moment uh, the pre the queen of being content grounding yourself in abundance okay you also have the queen of wands and this is you showing your light and not being unapologetic about it this is also you turning toward your light within so like I said, a lot of you guys are going through a, a period of time where you're turning a lot of things within you're shedding compassion. You're shedding compassion within. Finally being comfortable with yourself. You also can be you also can be attracting an Aries or um a Capricorn. Also can be attracting an Aries or a Capricorn. Then you have the Hierophant, and I feel like this is higher knowledge. This is high knowledge. This is light. This is light. This is light being shed on somebody's dark darkness. It also could be shed on your darkness as well. But I strongly feel like this has this is a choice that you have to make about somebody or something. Something happened. And you have to take all possible everything in consideration to make this choice you can't just um look for the good and everything and make your choice off of that you have to take everything in consideration and you're taking everything in consideration this time somebody's not getting let off the hook easy this time Tell me more about the Six of Swords for Libra, please. Thank you. You got the Hierophant. These wise choices. The King of Swords. Some of you guys have been are, are are in deep thought. You have the six of cups. This is this is could this could be from a soulmate. This could be from a family member. This could also be with a child, and this could also be with a close um close friend. Somebody that you've known. Some of you guys are letting go the way you look at a person because of their because of their um title. You're letting that go as well. So some of you guys could be dealing with a parent or somebody older. Just because of their years of experience, you're letting... That's out of your choice. That's not going to um, stay your choice. Also, because of their... Um, some of you guys are not even going to... For some of you guys, you're not even about to go into deep thought about this. For some of you guys, all of this is laid out. And it may be a person that you like, but you're like, listen, <laughs> I can't, I can't not say anything about this. I'm like, are you serious? Some of you guys are not going to sit there and ponder about something. You're not 
I wouldn't say that. You're not going to sit there and ponder about something and... It doesn't matter about your relations or how long you've known a person or how close you guys may be or if you guys are family or you may live down the street. Like, that's not cutting it anymore. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. judgment the judgment card like i said you're making a choice about something you're embracing the, conf the confusing you're also embracing if this person put in some type of hard work or you're embracing your hard work and dedication you're looking at something like okay this person had me confused about something or this person had me um what's the word or in like a state of confusion or this person was one way and, you know, constantly switching up. And I was working so hard for the betterment of us. So, basically, this person wasn't a team player at all. Libra the judge. Now you're not looking at theirs. You're looking at yours. You're embracing your stuff. Oh, this is like um, shadow side. Libra is not being the judge for another person. Libra is being the judge for herself for, or for himself. The judge of self. The lawyer of self. You're looking at how sensitive you became. How filled of emotions, how much this played with your emotion, how emotional you were, how much in your head you were. You're looking at you. You're you're not you're not worrying about the other person and being or the other person being of age or the other person having some type of stature or looking at the light or looking at the beauty in the you're not looking at none of that. You're looking at how a person hurt you. Your top priority. How much you kept trying to work with this person. Work with a manipulator. Work with a narcissist. How you were fooled. You got the judgment card. It goes in your favor. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles for Libra. Could be the people. I feel like once after having like some type of hardship or going into some type of hardship or suffering, um falling, falling down on bad times, you guys become stable again. After being hidden in the dark, you guys are the light. Like the the, the queen of uh, wands is is that okay? <laughs> She's in the spotlight, and nobody is is going to dare turn her light off, or nobody is you know they're not. They can't. She's comfortable with herself. I feel like after being in the dark for so long, you guys blossom. You come. You finally come out. And you take a leap of faith. And there's an unexpected opportunity for you. There's something that comes out of the blue for you. Some of you guys could be hit by a lot of spirit, um, spiritual guys right now. But there is a choice. And you're taking in consideration all of your pain. And I feel like you're balancing it out. And one thing weighs up way higher than the other. 
for a lot of you guys, if you're not dealing with somebody, this is weighing some type of weighing your mental stuff out. Let's get some fairy oracle. Oh, is this fairy oracle? I don't think so. No. This is the spell casting oracle. What messages do we have for Libra? Should I go into romance? Where are we at? Let's save that for my next one. Okay. What's the messages for Libra, please? What's the messages for Libra, please? Home. Somebody's going back home. Good luck. Good luck surrounding a home. Some of you guys could be buying a home. There's good luck surrounding a home. Financial health surrounding a home. Some people are in um, real estate. Fertility surrounding a home. This is a happy home. Good luck. Fertility. Financial health. What else? Healing. Life's purpose. Some of you guys are at home. Like in a spiritual way, truth. You've learned the truth in something. Some of you guys are finally being able to set, see, see the truth and set boundaries. Justice out again. Justice is served. You make that choice. You're able to set a boundary. I feel like this is you being the judge for yourself. For some, for some of you guys, you were on the chopping block. block. Finding. Empowerment and new beginnings. Freedom. Got the animals classes. And some of you guys could still be seeing a lot of animals. But yeah, I feel like some of you guys now, you had to judge yourself in the situation. And be that beacon of light for yourself. Like the way you are for other people, that's what that's what um, was calling you to be that for yourself. The way you are for other people, like you put your um, you put your feelings, your wants, top forgiveness. I feel like a lot of you guys forgave yourself for going through a lot of um, darkness, a lot of pain, for not being what you are to other people to yourself inspiration some of you guys have found your light and you are protected okay libra that is the message that i have for you guys today you have happiness at the bottom of the deck it's the message that i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i will see you in the next video